back to Hatford Paranormal. We're in the same house. I'm going to call it the House on the Hill. Uh, I'm going to do my own vigil now. Kyle's on camera at the minute. Ellie's sitting here with him as well. They're going to stay here beside the entrance. I'm going to go off around the house on my own and do the own vigil. Normally, I send them to back to the car and I stay completely on my own in here, but I'm going to go up that secret staircase again. And if I get locked up there and they're back in the car, I'm stuck up there. Happy days for us. Yeah. So, so I'm going to get them to stay here and I'll go off on my own and do this own vigil. So let's see if we'll get anything when we're on our own. Right, people. So, here we are. I'm going to take a different route than I did the last time because we started off the last time going that way. Pan the camera on so you so can... Yeah, so there over there, that's where they'll be staying. So, I'm going to go off in here. I'm going to maybe do this back to front. Yeah, well do. So, I won't need them anyway. It's just in this room again with a funky fireplace. If you do see, because this is what I rely on people, if you do see or hear anything at all, please, please do let me know. If there's anybody here, come through this doorway. I know there's people in here, I know there's spirit people in here. Just keep on going, let's see what we'll get. So, I do rely on strange. Maybe not really either. I do rely on uh, my subscribers and watchers to let me know if you see or hear anything that I don't see or hear on the video. I do watch it back myself as well, but I do rely <coughs> on you guys to really let us know. So this is where I would have come in if I had went down the conservatory way. I'm going to... You didn't by any chance whistle there, Kyle, did you? No, my phone might have been. Oh, right, maybe your phone then. I thought I heard a sound. Right, we'll do the, we'll go upstairs in the main place first, and then we'll go up that secret one that after. Yeah, it has to be that radiator. So this is where we did the necrophonic session <coughs> in the last video up here and it was just in this room to the left here so we'll go in here first god it is so so cold in here my view is getting quite windy outside there is a few outbuildings to this place but I'm not going to be, I'm just going to pan the camera because that's where the ceiling's coming down in here. I'm just going to pan the camera around that room and behind the door. There we are. The, uh, there's not even a lot of touch anywhere. Yeah, 
there's a few outbuildings, but they're not really accessible. Uh, they're either full of junk or they're falling down. So here's just basically, there's not much to this. It's an empty shell. I've actually, the funny thing is, I've actually passed this house on several occasions. When I say we took a wrong turn today, uh, there was one time way last year, we were uh, picking something up from the house and it turned out it was out this way. That's when we first passed it and then we obviously passed it on the way back again. But didn't actually know it was empty. Forgot all about it. Here's the secret staircase. Forgot all about it. And uh, only noticed it today when we took a wrong turn and come down this road. So. I'm just going to walk about, pan the camera around a little bit. And in this funny little room. So, like I say, if you have seen or heard something, let me know. Oh. Again. Yeah, it's that radiator. I've gone out again. Right. That's basically the lone vigil of being around the house on my own. I uh, don't really think anything has happened. But like I say, again, if you've seen or heard anything, please time stop it for me and let me know. Right. So, here we are. Kyle, take this, do the honours. Right, people. That was the lone vigil. I'm going to call both these videos, like I said, the house on the hill. It is on a little bit of a hill, uh, and there's no other name for it, so we just got to do it something. Uh, that's the long vigil done. Hopefully, you've caught something on that. Once this lockdown, just bear with us, people. Just please have patience. I'm not just. I'm. I'm you know, we're we're all in the same boat. We're not alone. None of us can really get out too far at the minute, or we'll get fined. Uh, so, bear with us, let's get rid of this virus once and for all, and then we will literally be so busy, we've got so much coming up that we need to do. Just start listening to the government. Well, yeah, it's, it's it, just needs to, it just needs to go. Uh, you know, it's driving us all batty being around the house. Uh, there's nothing else you can do. You're being told to stay in, to stay in. We, we haven't been out of the house. Uh, because of all the, because of Judy's illness and because of this lockdown, uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer. So, like I say, please bear with us, uh, and as soon as we can, and as soon as it's physically possible and legally possible, we will be out again. But for now, from half our paranormal, it's goodbye.